Hola, 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 and welcome to Real Talk with your host, Melissa Miranda. And I'm excited to be here with you right now. I just want to make sure that this is live, <laughs> right? So I'm checking on my computer here real quick. And today's topic is a topic that I'm really passionate about, and it's about what it sounds like why things aren't going your way and this is really it really just comes down to understanding how powerful we are as an individual we are super super powerful and we are amazing beings and i really want to share this information with you today so as i was thinking about things that what is it that I want to share with you what is it that you need to know about um, and one of the things that I was talking about on the free angel masterclass earlier this month I was I, I mentioned one thing and I really need to elaborate on this and what it is honestly is that intuition right intuition that is our first sense you know how we have our five senses right well actually we have more than five senses and our sixth sense is actually our first sense intuition when we are born right when we're children <laughs> right we come out our beautiful mother's womb like yay I came into the world the first thing we actually experience is energy that's the first experiencing the first experience that we're having is intuition and we're intuitively using our senses because we don't have sight our hearing isn't fully there we don't know what we're touching we don't know how to identify these things we don't know how to identify the sounds but we definitely know how to identify energy and that's why you'll see children when they're really young that they're they'll gravitate towards really light-hearted individuals because they feel the energy they don't know them but they just naturally walk up to them and then there's the times where maybe the not so high vibrating person comes next to them and they don't want that person interacting with them and this is because they're relying on their intuitive nature their sense their ability to understand their energy and the energy of everyone else and this is why things aren't going our way honestly suffering is occurring in our life we are fearing we are feeling powerless in our decision making in our health in our relationships because we're not using an important sense which is our intuition which is our ability to translate energy <laughs> we live in an energy based environment everything is energy okay so what is happening right now the reason why a lot of things may are may not be going in its way or the way in which you want it to go is because you're not understanding how to translate the energy that's around you and how to use your own energy to master the energy in the room or dominate the energies in the room okay and this is going to be really important because there's a lot of suffering occurring right now and it's because we are so detached intuitively we are so detached from energy and we're only relying on our sight and our hearing and our touch and our smell and our taste and we are way more than that you are way more than just sight you are way more than this physical. You are more energy than you are physical. And I know that may seem weird to understand or comprehend, but I know you've experienced this many, many times where you've walked into a space and automatically knew, I need to get the hell out of this room or I need to get the hell out of here. And then you later find out that stuff happened and you're glad that you were able to jump out of right so hola hola welcome I see people joining thank you for joining please say hi let me know where you're from and let's talk about why you are suffering why are things aren't working your way and I don't really like to focus on the negative aspect but we kind of have to go there right now because 
we are in a very creative mo movement, right? And one of the things that I want to do, like, my mission, my movement right now is to empower you and recognize your own power in your ability with connecting with intuition and how to how this is impacting not only like your spirituality, but it's impacting your everyday life, your health, your relationships, right? Your money and cash flow, okay? All of these things are important to us, but we are missing a really important factor, which is our sense of intuition okay so blessings from Ireland wow from Ireland that is so nice Ooh, international I love it <laughs> yes so it's important to understand that our, our alignment okay is the indicator as to what where things are going in our life whether it's with love and relationships, friendships, money, health. Um, and I'm talking about health on many levels. I'm talking about physical health and I'm talking about mental health. Okay, um, mental health is a real big epidemic right now and it's not understood really to what is actually happening. And if we can tap into the energy within it, I really feel that we'll be able to have more understanding around what's happening in mental health within itself but I'm not going to talk about that right now because that's a huge topic and um, we don't have the space for that right now okay but right now what I do want to discuss with you oh there's like a feather oh where this feather come from <laughs> angels thank you <laughs> right so why things aren't going your way? It's because you're not utilizing your alignment with your intuition. And intuition is going to, I'm going to make it real, real simple. Intuition is the information that you receive from what's going on around you. Again, intuition is the information you're receiving around you. And I'm talking about information from energy, okay? Your energy information, okay? And this, this is important for us to really start comprehending because it is costing us our happiness. Our inability to own up to our, our energy, where we are, how we stand in the world, is causing so much of our happiness and our health and our well-being and our relationships, okay? And I want to start a movement here with you, okay? And that movement looks like empowering our, ourselves to really connect intuitively. And I'm not trying to pass my agenda upon you. I'm trying to give you resources so that you can see that there's more than just what you may think is out there. Because a lot of people, well, you're lucky, or some people are lucky, or I have bad luck, and this is why I'm in this situation. No, it isn't. It's because energetically that is what you are accepting and the thing is that you don't even know that you're accepting it you don't even know that that's what you're creating because you're not taking accountability for yourself in this hola hola yay thumbs up yeah thumbs up share this video we need to get this out there okay and you know it's also important to know that there's a lot of information out here and we don't have it all like we don't know it all I don't know it all I don't have access consciously to know it all and neither do I need I don't need to know it all all at once right neither do you You don't need to know everything all at once but let's say like you have this this is this is a circle okay and there's a there's a part there's a you know one little slash actually hold on I have a paper here. I am going to, let me see, do I have a, I have a pen, but let's see if I have a marker. Nope, okay, never mind. Well, I'm gonna draw, okay, do not make fun of my drawing, please, or you can, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna draw this circle. Okay, and let's say this circle is, can you see it? I hope you can see it. It's recycled paper, there's stuff on the back, so if you see things coming through, just know it's that. Okay, and what you see this circle, this circle represents all the knowledge in the world. Everything, all we need to know, right? Let's say that that's representing all the knowledge. Then there's one, there's a section here, okay, right? And then there's another section, and I'm going to name what these are, okay? 
So this section right up here is the information you consciously know, right? Your language, what you know about your language, your name, right? Things like that. This is what you know. This is this part of the pie of this circle is what you know you do not know, right? So this is like, oh, I know I don't know how to fly a plane or I know that I know I don't know, I know that I don't know how to raise animals or whatever the case may be, but I know that I could teach my, I could teach, I could learn it, right? Not teach, I can learn it, right? Um, I could get the information. But then all of this part here is everything we do not know that we actually do not know. So it's like our complete blind spot. And what is important to understand is that intuition right intuition right you see this this is intuition intuition has access to every single pie every single part of this pie of this circle of this knowledge so intuition knows is connected to the things you know intuition is connected to the things you you do not know and intuition is connected to the things that you do not know that you do not know and we have here, yes, right. See this? This is important information, okay? Because when we can actually comprehend this and realize, hey, if I have a developed intuition, that means that when, whoop, I almost knocked you down. I got so excited. That means that when I don't know what I do not know, but need to know what I do not know that I do not know, okay, I have access to it. That is intuition. Intuition is all of this information. And then us, we have to learn how to interpret the information we're getting. We go into a room, we walk into a building, we go into an elevator, we walk into a supermarket, we go anywhere. We get money, we don't get money, we give money, we, we pay for our bills. All of these things, when we're doing all these interactions, we're getting intuitive information from the people around us. You're getting intuitive information on me, right? I'm getting intuitive information on you. Right? And, and this is not about like, oh, we're violating each other's energy. No, this is about actually understanding that this is a sense that we have. It's a skill. It's a part of our makeup. And we have not acknowledged this part of ourselves. And because of the not acknowledging of it fully and using it to its fullest potential, we are then suffering. Like we're actually physically, emotionally, spiritually suffering. And this upsets me. I'm sorry, I'm here, I'm a little upset about it. Yes, because now that we know this, we have to get this out there. And we also need to understand how to start interpreting the world through this sense, through intuition. Because we are way more, we are way more than our physical self okay and whether you want to believe this or not if you knew if you had access okay if you right whether this is you know oh I'm not spiritual I'm not into that I don't know about intuition it don't matter let's I'm gonna break it down I'm gonna break it down to you of the cost that this is costing you if you do not invest yourself into understanding how this is impacting your life okay so I'm gonna break it down Imagine, think of a scenario in your life where, you know, you wish you would have known things ahead of time. Like, if I knew this, I may have not invested that money into that. Or I may have not invested my emotions in that relationship. Right? We all have a relationship where we're like, hmm, I wish I would have known because I, I would have not wasted my time. And that is the access. That's the information that you do not know that you do not know area of the pie. But when you start connecting more into your intuition, okay, into this, you have access to this. You have access. You have access. You have access. And I, I don't know how other, any other way I can explain it. 
you have access to this. And imagine that. Imagine being able to have access to the area of you do not know that you do not know. Because think about how that would change your life. Right? Just really think about it. If you would have known about that relationship or that investment, that partnership and that business deal, that night you, you know, you went out and someone mugged you and, and took your phone with all your precious information, right? I'm just randomly picking up scenarios, right? Just imagine if you were able to tap in a little bit deeper and, and be able to see, hey, what is my intuition telling me about this situation? Is there, is there a possibility that I can feel and see this differently? <clears throat> is there information in the I do not know that I do not know area of my life right because this will set us free from so much suffering like imagine <laughs> right I just had to take in a breath with you imagine what that would be like hola Natasha <laughs> right imagine what that would be like okay so why things aren't going your way it's simple. It's because you have been ignoring a part of yourself for a very long time. And as a child, you knew all about it. And then you were you you grew up and you were told not to trust that. Not to trust that feeling, not to trust that emotion, not to trust that insight. Okay? She's hi Angel. Oh, thank you for calling me Angel. <laughs> hi, hola, hola to everyone. Right? So think think about that I really I like when I started to really get clear about this I knew I had to talk about this with you here in open conversation because having this information is really really important now the next thing is like how do okay Melissa I hear you I'm on board um, where do I start right this is where a lot of us then get confused okay all right, I want to know what I I want to get. I want to know that I could have access to the do not know that I do not know area of the intuition of all the knowledge in the world. Okay, I want to know that I could have access to that at any point whenever I need it. So where do I begin? And you begin by starting off by trust, starting to work on trusting your intuition, learning what type of intuitive you are, learning the different types of intuitives, learning. Um, how to use different tools, right? Like angel cards and ruins, angel ruins, you know, those little ruined um, rocks that people do things with, right? There's so many different ways. Channeling, right? Learning how to, to develop your channeling. All of these things are going to support you in developing your intuition so that you can get access to the do not know that you do not know. So that you can always feel in that and always just be, not feel, but be in that protection bubble of what that is actually giving you because your suffering is because you're not accessing yourself completely. You're not accessing, you're not using all of the resources within yourself effectively. And intuition is one of them. It's one of it's our first sense. Like I want you to really understand this. It's our first sense that we develop. It's our first sense sense that we develop I want you to really get that one more time it's the first sense that we develop that right there is like poof poof so where do you begin start learning how to use these different materials that can get you access into learning how to tap into your intuition practice there's so there's so much information I've done so many videos on developing intuition I have them all on my youtube channel okay Go ahead, ran through all of them because you're you're gonna want this information, right? Because it's gonna be to your benefit to have it, okay? <clears throat> and I also want to let you know that right now I am hosting interviews for the angel certification um, program that I'm offering, right? And you could totally sign up for that. I'm gonna put it actually in the comment box. I'm gonna put a link to my. Um, to my calendar right go ahead it's completely free to you it's a 30-minute session that we connect 
and we could see where you are. Even if it's like, oh, I'm not sure if I want to become a certified angel reader, that's okay. We're here. I could, I could really support you in seeing where exactly you are in your intuition, in your development of your intuition, and what are some, some tips that you can move into to start bringing it to another level. Maybe you are an automatic writer, and you don't even know that you are. But you get inclinations, but then how do you step into it? What is it that you do? How, how does that practice look like? Right? And this is individualized. And I, I, I really, like, I'm totally excited that I could share this with you. But I'm also very upset that this has been held and that people aren't talking about this enough. You know, I, I was looking, you know, recently I shared with you that... I'm, I stopped doing the angel weekly readings um, because I wanted to focus my energy more on giving you tools and, and, and information on developing yourself and getting to your true self. And that's what I'm doing here. And I'm hoping, I'm not hoping because hoping is so careless. Um, I know that we need to talk about this. There's a lot of readers out there. You, you, you're not going to miss out on me not doing readings. But what you will miss out on is if no one is teaching how to be intuitive, right? No, there's not a big market out there that and individuals that are actually telling you, hey, these are the steps and do them. And these are different steps in here. And that what we need to really focus on is really developing a skill, a talent, not even a skill talent, but our sense that we've been ignoring for so long it's like if you like if we were told we couldn't see with our eyes and we all walked around with blindfolds and then one day someone says if you take off the blindfolds you will start to see and at first it'll be super bright it would it would probably hurt our eyes but then over time we would start to see the colors and then we'll start to see shapes. And then we'll see them more defined. And then we get to see the difference between, oh, this is a phone, this is a computer. This is a light bulb, this is a plant. This is the color green, this is purple, this is brown, this is magenta. Right, and we start to develop it, right, by using it. But what, as long as we have the, the blindfolds on, we can't use it, but yet we're bumping into everything because we can't see. And we're trying to rely on our other senses, like our sense of touch, our sense of taste, our sense of, of hearing. Okay? This is the same thing. And this is why I really want you to see because we're bumping into things. And some of the things we're bumping into, we don't even need to bump into. But because we don't have a developed intuition and we're not using it to the capacity that we can, we are bumping into things and walking into scenarios that don't feel good, that aren't fun, okay? And, and that actually are taking away our happiness. Hola, Alex. Hola, hola. Right? And that's taking away our, our happiness. Right, and this is where the suffering is coming from. Hola, hola, Ben. Hola, hola. <laughs> I love that people are rolling in. <clears throat> right? Mm. We need to talk about this more. Right? We we need to have more conversations and learn and and more of. I don't even know what the word is, but more access to this information. Because the more that we talk about it, the more that we share it, the more that we start experiencing it, the more that we are becoming fully within ourselves. Because our intuition is really a big part of us. And it's not hocus pocus work. <clears throat> not at all, darling. It isn't. It's the access to all of the knowledge in the world. 
all of the knowledge of the universe. Imagine knowing that, okay, I don't need to know every topic. I don't need to know everything in the world. I don't need to study everything. I don't have the capacity to know everything that's in this world. Nor do I want to go and study some things, just have zero interest in them. But I know that in the moment, if I need to access it or get some information around, is this true or not? Is this really what's happening or not? I can tap into this bad boy <laughs> called my intuition, which is my first sense. And know that I have access to that information anyways. And that is what I really want to get across to you. Is to understand that if you, you know, not focusing on your intuition, you're not developing it, it's costing you happiness. It's costing you letting, you know, knowing your full self. And I'm not saying this to scare anybody. I'm, I don't like the fear tactic. It doesn't work on me and I'm not using it on you. I'm just giving you facts. That's it. Okay, you can choose to take it or not. Now, there's going to be things that are going to happen. Of course. There's going to be things you're going to misinterpret. Most definitely. Most definitely. But as time goes on, you will get better and better at it. And you're going to come to a point where you're like, I'm glad I listened to myself on that one. That's that one thing because my life would have been so different so different and so different in a way that I don't want nor need so I want like really grasp that okay so you know if you want to know more about your intuition and you want to learn if you want to see if like the angel boot camp is for you is being a certified angelic card reader because that's really helpful that was that's what jump started my intuition which was using angel cards it jump started my intuition it jump started my channeling because it gave me validation when I was feeling the information from the angels and channeling and then they would start to come out in the cards the cards would come out and say exactly what I was feeling what I was saying, what I was getting from someone else, right? I was like, I'm feeling this way, I'm gonna pull a card. And it was very reflective, very, very the same message. And that supported me developing my intuition. Now that might be something that will help you too because it's a physical, tangible thing that you can measure, right? And that, that's why I really enjoy using angel cards and tarot cards, oracle cards, because they're a tangible way to, to measure, in a way, the intuition, right? And what you're receiving and then using it and then stepping into it and things like that. Hola, hola, good afternoon. <laughs> nice to see that you're in, right? So, under, like, having a intuition is going to be... We all have intuition and we all tap into it all the time, but we don't have it strong. It's not strong because we don't really use it that often, right? It's like having a blindfold, okay, that we're taking it off. But the blindfold is literally over our body. What we're doing is we're just taking it off like a veil, taking off this veil that's been clogging my ability to receive information through my intuition. I'm just taking this veil off, throw it out, I don't need it. Disintegrate into the earth, go bye-bye. Okay, so I, I wanna thank you so much for letting me talk about this with you. Um, I know at times I may have <laughs> gotten a little loud, <laughs> but I'm passionate, I'm really passionate about this and I'm passionate to be giving you this information and I also am very open to hearing what your interpretation of this and what you would like to, to learn a little bit more about because um, I really am going to start showing up more on these live videos um, and like I said before in the, the other video I am no longer doing the weekly one so now I am focusing on this. 
because I want to give you as much information as possible about how you can access your own sense, right? Your own intuition. <clears throat> because when you do, I promise you, you suffer less. I'm not saying you don't and that things don't happen. Things happen all the time. And there's times where I'm sad and I'm upset and that things happen in my world. But I must say that 9 out of 10 times when I've listened to my intuition, I've always felt good about it. And it's always been rewarding. And it has allowed me to bypass a lot of suffering. Okay? Not saying that I don't suffer, but I don't suffer as much as a lot of people in this world are right now. So, I want you... And, and honestly, I don't want you to suffer. I don't want you to be sad. I don't, I don't want these things. I'm getting emotional because you, you are my people. You know, you, you guys are my people. I love you all. Like when I'm like, I love you unconditionally, it's because I see you. I feel you. I may not know what you look like. I might not know what your birthday is or your you know favorite ice cream or if you don't even like ice cream but i know your energy i know what you feel like and what you feel like is amazing beautiful and so powerful and i want you to be able to feel that for yourself so go ahead book your certification interview with me um and also comment below what's going on like what not what's going on in your life, but what you would like to learn more around intuition. If there was something like I covered and you want on this session and you wanted me to go a little bit deeper, let me know. Say, hey, you mentioned this. Can you elaborate? I love, I love questions. I love to answer them because it opens up my psyche as well. It opens up to the do not know that I did not know. So... Thank you so very much for being here with me. I love you so much. And until the next time, I love you unconditionally. Namaste.